Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today we're talking about The Revenant, directed by Alejandro Gonzalez um, in U2 and the, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Domino Gleason, Will Poulter, and Forrest. Good luck. This is a movie about Hugh Glass, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, and his survival and his quest for revenge. Yes, he's on a fur trader expedition with a military crew, Hugh Glass, and he gets attacked by a female bear who's protecting her cubs. I mean, he gets messed up. Twice. It was two attacks. It, was, it wasn't just one, it was two. Because the first attack was just like a, a warning, I just, stay away from my cubs. Messed them up pretty bad, left them for dead. But then he tried to shoot the bear and the bear said, no, no, you did not. You did not try to shoot me. I left you. I, I mean, you messed up, but you would have been fine. But now you shot me, I'm going to mess you up now. And the bear went back for a second time, and, this, and it wasn't pretty. Well, he's slowing down the crew because they had to go through this rough terrain. And, 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 the, and, the, and the captain who's in charge put certain people in charge to watch over him. And to keep him safe, and, and if he dies, bury him properly, and then come back to the crew. Fine. Well, the person who volunteers to stay with him is Tom Hardy's character, John Fitzgerald. Well, John has been, well, complaining about um, Hugh for a long, long time. He never really liked him. So now, he, didn't, he never liked him at all. He also hated his son. Who's also who's, um, half Native American, so that was, and he and, and and John is pretty much a racist. He's a racist. He's racist. He's racist. So he hated his son. He hated him for being with Native American, and, and so therefore he he hated him from the start. So now he now he's left alone with him. Left, left alone with him to watch over him while he's half dead because of the bear attack. They tried to patch him up as much as they could, but they don't have the medicine that, that they needed. And they're out there in the cold, so they didn't have a lot of supplies to really keep them alive, so they, they did what they could. Well, as soon as John had his opportunity, he, put, he, he killed, he killed um, Hugh's son, and then uh, he, tried, he left to leave him for dead. He tried to bury him, to leave him for dead, and he went on his journey. Well, Hugh didn't die. That's right, he didn't die, and he managed to survive the attack, the burial, and everything else that went along with his journey to try to get, try to get, try to get himself back to the fort so he could get his revenge on the man who left him for dead and killed his son. Not pretty much what the movie's about. Now, before I get into the good stuff, I'm going to start off with the bad stuff. And the, the bad stuff is, the movie's long. The movie's long, and, and, and it is not, I want to say it's not interesting, but there are some lulls in the movie. And the laws, you feel them. I mean, it's like this. I mean, it starts out pretty interesting, yes. But there are points where it's like, okay. You feel like, that, you feel like the kid in the, in the back of the seat like this. Are we there yet? Are, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Like, no. Like, oh. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's kind of messed up. And, and also, the, 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 the only people that actually stand out in this movie is... Tom Harding and Leonardo, Tom Hardy oh, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Without those two people, the other two actors in the movie, if they was terrible, this whole movie would suck. Yeah. Because most of the time, you're following Leonardo DiCaprio, and he's by himself a lot. So he's not really doing a lot of talking. So his performance has to carry the picture. If not, you'd be bored out of your mind. And also Tom Hardy... Who actually brings something to the table as well? Because without these two characters, this movie would fail. It would fail big time. Yeah. I mean, everybody else's performance is, is all, all right, but they don't really stand out enough to make you notice them really that much. I mean, they're there and they do help the story go along, but they don't. Nobody other other than Tom Hardy and Leonardo you know, DiCaprio. None of else's performances actually really stand out at you. Yeah. Now that's the bad part. Let's move on to the good. Like I said before, Leonardo DiCaprio is by himself most of the top, most of the of the movie, and he doesn't really say a lot in the picture. 
but his performance and his acting, you feel it. And, you, and you're actually willing to go on the journey with him. And he goes through a whole lot of stuff. Some, a lot of times in the picture, you can be thinking, oh my gosh, that didn't kill him? That didn't kill him? That should have killed him. But nope. This dude's will for survival is strong. Like, holy crap. And when he did speak, his performances was, was felt and, and actually enjoyable. And I actually thought that he did a good, a good job. And also, Tom Hardy also did a good job as, as his performance in the picture. And he was the perfect bad guy. You hated him from the start. Loud mouth. Thinks he knows everything. And he's racist. Like, this perfect. You're, always gonna, you're, you're automatically going to hate him. Yeah. It was also beautifully shot. The background looked amazing. Very big, wide scopes. I mean, it was, it was beautiful. And the CGI in the picture was actually pretty good. Because the bear and, and the other animals, I don't, think, I don't think they were real. I think they were all CGI. And it, it, wasn't, it didn't look that bad. It actually looked believable enough. A couple of times, it, it kind of fooled me a little bit. I said, is that a real bear? But I don't think so. But, because the attack looked so real and so vicious and so gruesome. It was like wild rough. Now, even though it did have some slow parts in the picture, overall, I did enjoy the film. They had to give the movie a grade. I'm giving it a B. But don't take my word for it. I said, go see the movie for yourself. And then leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought about The Revenant. Did you enjoy it or not? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like if it thumbs up. Mm. Boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.